Hello there guys, I want to show you a couple of things on Formula 1 2019 that make your experience of playing this game a hell of a lot better. Well, in my opinion they do anyway. Uh, this is dedicated to John who told me that this was possible, I had no idea that it was. I'm in cockpit view, as you can see. I'm in a Mercedes. I can't see my wing mirrors, which is a pain in the ass because I use them a lot. Now on a controller you can look sidewards like that. On a steering wheel, I don't have that option. Uh, and also, I've got my uh, halo bar thing in the um, in front of me, which really annoys me. Now, I've noticed a lot of people are using like the tripod camera instead. I don't want to do that. I want to stay on this camera. So this is what I've been doing. So this is what John showed me. Go into your preferences. Go into your camera options. Now, you can actually change this. For an individual car, normally it's set on global like that, but I only want to change this Mercedes. So you change over to the Mercedes, and then if we go on down to Halo column at the bottom, we can switch it off and then escape back out of that. There we go. So now we have an unobscured view of the track. This is particularly good if you use the driver racing line because sometimes that column obscures where the racing line is changing from green to red and it messes up your braking. So for that, it's really useful. But I much prefer the clear view anyway. So that's what John told me. So kudos to John for that. The other thing, I had a bit of a fiddle with the settings whilst I was in the camera options and also discovered this. Uh, so back into my camera options again. Now I'm going to be moving my field of view a little bit uh, backwards like this so I can see my wing mirrors. Now I'd recommend if you're going to change your field of view, change it and then drive for a while and make sure it still feels all right because it does change the way it feels a little bit. I mean, it, for instance, just as an experiment, I put my field of view back like that and I put my horizontal offset uh, on, uh, on minus one, like this, and then try driving like that, and it feels weird. So it does affect it, but obviously you're not normally gonna go as far as I just did. Oops, wrong menu. Uh, so what I recommend is your horizontal offset, pull that in, uh, keep an eye on the mirrors in the background, maybe about there, so that you can see the mirrors. And that means you can drive uh, in a Mercedes and actually see who's behind you without having to do this, which I hate because it's just not normal, is it? You don't do that in a real car, that's annoying. I prefer it to be as realistic as possible. So this is the way I've got mine set up. I've been doing a few laps around Silverstone and it feels all right. It just, it feels nice like this. So I'm quite happy with it. Uh, I also had a little bit of a fiddle with the height, the angle, and something else that I thought was pretty cool is you can do the angle of the mirrors. So look at the sides of the screen and you'll see that, you know, you can lift them up so you're looking at the sky or you can put them down so you're looking more at the road. I mean, the default, I think it's about right, but if you adjust the vertical offset, make yourself a bit higher in the car, you might want to adjust the mirrors afterwards. And you can also adjust this angle as well. Uh, so it's kind of like tilting your head up or down. So, I mean, if you're a really tall person and you want more realism, then do this a little bit. It's nice. I like that you have those, those abilities. But the big one for me is the field of view and the, uh, the horizontal offset. Just moving those so you move backwards a little bit in your position in the car, just so you can see the, uh, the wing mirrors, uh, the side mirrors. So there we go, guys. Isn't that awesome? If you don't want to fiddle around with your field of view, uh, but you are annoyed about the halo column, then you can also turn this on and off in here as well. And as I said, it is something that you can do for an individual car, or you can have it as like a global setting. Um, I'm not sure, but on old Formula One games, on some cars you could see the mirrors, and then on some cars you couldn't. And that always used to restrict what team I chose to drive for, because I like using the mirrors. And it, it's always really annoyed me that on Mercedes, you cannot see the mirrors. So this is something that's made the game a lot better for me because I want to drive for Mercedes. Now I can see what's behind me. So there we go, just a, just a very short video, guys. I, I'm not going to do an update, tell you what's going on and do any of that kind of stuff because I can already hear Filippo crying at the door outside and we're in lockdown. Carol's got to work. Uh, so that's a bit distracting for her and Filippo demands attention. So. I'm a busy guy, but when I can, I will most certainly be getting back on and doing some more videos for you. Uh, I've got my wheel set up at the moment, but it is my old Ferrari um, 458 Spider with no force feedback. I have ordered uh, a um, G920 
uh, with the force feedback and that should have been delivered on Monday it's Wednesday now it's still not here but I expect it in the next few days so when that arrives I'm going to do a bit of a comparison between the two and then uh, get back into racing a little bit this wheel that I've got now doesn't work properly on Forza Horizon uh, it's got like a really bad dead zone that you just can't get rid of so I'm hoping the new wheel is going to solve that so I can use it on Forza as well see you later guys I hope you are all well and I will see you soon take care bye bye oh actually before I go almost forgot if you know um, the look to apex if you know how that works because it didn't seem to change anything to me is there a setting that that causes you to look to apex or not let me know in the comments and the other thing as well the near clip plane what does that do it, it didn't seem to do anything if you know what the rest of these settings do then leave some notes in the comments and, and let us know about it and if you want to talk about field of view in the comments as well because I know that's a oops what have I done Oh yeah, this is the camera that most people are using these days. I've noticed on YouTube a lot of people are on this TV pod. I hate it. I want to be there. So yeah, for me, that is the best camera, but I've got to turn the halo column off. There we go, guys. Leave some comments. Hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you soon. Bye.